So today is Armistice Day. It's a day universally associated with the remembrance of those who died in the First World War. I welcome you all here today to honour and remember the 30 New Zealand chartered accountants who gave their life for New Zealand during the Great War. We'll also unveil today a new permanent uh, memorial to be located here in our Wellington office reception. The memorial we'll soon unveil replaces a plaque that had been displayed and passed in Zika offices over the years, but had been lost when offices were relocated. As we commemorate the centenary of World War I, it's timely that that memorial be replaced and rededicated. The names of our fallen have been sourced from photos of that original memorial. Our records for World War II are not complete, and note that that is the case, and we're working to update those records so that that can also be added um, to our memorial in due course. I'd now like to welcome um, to speak with us today Brian Roach, one of our fellows, um, and also the chair of the government's ANZAC Centenary Memorial Committee. Brian's going to address us about the significance of the centenary and New Zealand's commemorations. Welcome, Brian. We acknowledged Murray Jack and like members, World War I had a profound impact on us as a nation, and it's great that. Um, the organisation is recognising that. As chair of the World War One panel, I take great pride in the fact that we've been able to sort of create an environment where New Zealanders can explore and discover a lot more about World War One. And as we've said on many occasions, it's not to commemorate war, but it is to commemorate the event. And that event did have a massive impact on what we were as a nation, what we stood for as a nation, and more importantly, how other nations saw us and much of what occurred in World War I is still what we are about today and it's why we're on places like the Security Council because of what we did. And so memorials like this um, actually bring the past to the current and it's really important that uh, we have that link and I think it's great that um, the organisation is doing it. The predecessor organisation, which is much easier to confirm in terms of New Zealand society, Institute had 186 of its members went to war and 30 didn't come back and that's what today is all about and it's sort of interesting when I did some research because um, the Institute actually set up its own benevolent fund for those who came back but were disabled or impaired in some ways and it reflects I think well on the organisation in terms of its collegiality and its spirit of collectiveness and those are sort of attributes which I think as a profession we still hold proud uh, today. So the first memorial was unveiled in 1921 by the Governor General Viscount Jellico, and I'll just quote, as he said, to their memory we shall ever pay our tribute of gratitude and respect, but their spirit lives with us forever. So today we rededicate the memorial in a modern form but the ethic and principles that are represented by it uh, are current, but they are also historical. And we think about you know, the accountants as a profession, the concept of service is at the very heart of what we do and what we stand for. And I suppose it causes you to reflect about what greater service can you pay to your countrymen than to give your life. I think as an organisation and as members, we have some great examples to follow and much to be proud of. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Brian and also a representative from the New Zealand Defence Force and a previous Nzika member, uh, Force Squadron uh, Leader Karen Weymouth, to unveil our memorial light box. At the conclusion of the unveiling, I will then read the Roll of Honour. Right, nice. Alan F.A. Arnold A.J. Atwill, J. Bedford, W.C. Bissett, G.E. Britain, F.M. Burns, G.F. Potts, C.H. Crawshaw, E.E. -E. Crichton, J.W. Alice, E.G. Alice, W.H. Foster, J.G. Griffiths, G. Guthrie, E.R. Hammond, H.H. 
Henry, E. S. Hutton, D. Jordan, B. S. Kershaw, H. Nubley, M. A. Maycomb, C. E. Marsden, H. O. F. Mackenzie, D. B. Reed, G. Ross, F. Smith, A. L. Stewart, D. M. Tarrant, E. N. Vile, A. H. Ever living God, remember those who you have gathered from the storm of war into peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fear, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past and the sacrifices made, we may, may we also put our faith in the future, for you are the source of life and hope and peace, now and forever. God bless New Zealand. God bless our Defence Force. God bless our veterans and those who served. And God bless those who serve this day to bring peace to our world. Pinare tato ko mahoe nei e kore hoke rato i noe kore a hakoa pea henga a hotanga o te wā e hikinga ato i te rā ta noa ki e te aranga mai i te ata ka mau mahara tano i tato ki a rato ka mau mahara tano i tato ki a rato. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the near years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Chartered accountants always have and will continue to make a difference and serve our communities in many ways. As their professional body, we are honoured to recognise these 30 members. We will remember the 30 New Zealand members who gave their lives for our country every day as we pass their names here on this Roll of Honour. We'd like to acknowledge and thank very much for the support today of Brian Roach, Squadron Leader Karen Weymouth, the New Zealand Defence Force, the Royal New Zealand Air Force Band, RSA National Office, the Wellington RSA, and in particular one of our retired members, Lieutenant Colonel Neil Schofield, 
who have all contributed greatly to the planning and delivery for today's service. I invite you all warmly to join with me for um, refreshments in the conference room three just down the hall and invite you to come and take a closer look at this special memorial we've unveiled today. Thank you for joining us.